Hey everybody, Ryan here at E-Trailer. Today on our 2017 Honda Fit, we're gonna be showing you how to install the Kurt trailer hitch receiver. But before we do that, let me just take a minute, check this out and make sure it's gonna work for you. With the Honda Fit, uh, surprisingly, you know, you can actually get a lot of stuff on the inside of it. Um, but personally, I can see I kind of get annoying sometimes, especially if you're out trying to ride bikes and do things like that. And that's what uh, seems to be pretty popular when it comes to uh, putting a hitch on your Honda. Um, so having a hitch back here is going to kind of open up your opportunities. You know, you're not going to have to put stuff in the back that you don't want to or put stuff on the roof and keep everything outside of the car here where it's easily uh, accessible. And with that said, one of the things I notice about this one, the end of that receiver tube is gonna be pretty much flush with our back bumper here. And with accessories being popular on this, I feel like it's pretty important because this is gonna allow us to fold them accessories up and not have to worry about them hitting the back of our fit. When it comes to some of the other hitches available, um, this one's probably gonna be my second favorite, just behind the Eco Hitch. And I say it because this one does have the inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter opening. Uh, so it's a class one hitch, whereas the Eco Hitch is gonna have the bigger two inch by two inch opening. So it's a little more capable. You can use uh, a lot more accessories with it, but you know, it's really gonna depend on what you're trying to do. If you just plan on having a small bike rack or something, um, then, then this will fit the bill just uh, just fine. Uh, I do think this one looks pretty decent, even though it is visible. Uh, it's put together nicely. It has a, a reinforced collar on the end of it. And, you know, it isn't an eyesore by any means. Um, if you don't want to really see the hitch at all, that eco hitch, it sits up behind the bumper. And so the only thing you'll be able to see is that receiver tube opening. So it's really just going to uh, depend on what you're trying to do and uh, what one you like a little bit better. Um, with that said, you know, I mentioned it's a class one and it is going to use that half inch size pin and clip. Pin and clip doesn't come with the hitch. If you need one, not a huge deal. You can always grab it here at E-Trailer. And these safety chain openings are gonna be a plate style and they're actually pretty big. So uh, we should have no problems using just about any size hook that we might have. As far as the hitch's weight capacities go, it's gonna have a 200 pound maximum gross tongue weight rating. That's gonna be the amount of weight pushing down on it. So you shouldn't have any issues at all with those one, two, maybe even three bike racks. Um, you know, you can use ones even larger than that. Just be sure to check uh, with the manufacturer and see if they say anything about using them with the class one hitch, because sometimes uh, they will limit you. But uh, just figured I'd mention that. As far as the maximum gross trailer weight rating goes, uh, it's going to be 2,000 pounds. And that's going to be the amount of weight pulling on the hitch. So that's the weight of your trailer plus anything that you might have on it. Uh, I do always like to suggest so. It's never a bad idea just to grab your Honda's owner's manual. That way you can make sure your fit can handle that much weight safely. Now we can just grab a couple of measurements and these are going to help us figure out what type of accessories will work best. If you go from the ground to the top inside edge of the receiver tube opening, that's going to be right at 10 and a half inches. So if you can find an accessory that has a rise in the shank, I'd probably go with that, give you a little more ground clearance. And from the center of the hitch pin hole to the edge of the rear bumper, that's going to be, it looks like about two and a half inches. And you can use that to figure out exactly if any of those folding accessories can be stored upright without hitting the back bumper. As far as the installation goes, really not bad at all. Uh, you take off a couple rubber uh, hangers for the exhaust, it'll drop down, give you some more space put the bolts in and, and tighten everything up. That's really about it. So shouldn't really run into too many issues or take up a bunch of your time. But if you'd like to see how that's done, feel free to follow along. We'll go ahead, pull into the garage and put it on together now. So you begin our installation. We're gonna be underneath the back of our fit. And first thing we need to do is let the end of our exhaust come down a little ways. Uh, that way we can have enough room to work and get our hitch up. So before we start to lower it, I like to take a strap just run it from side to side. That way the exhaust will have a little support and we can kind of help control how fast and how far we actually let it come down. There's gonna be two rubber isolator hangers that we need to remove to let the exhaust come down. One right here and just one on the other side. And so with these, if you spray them down with soapy water or some type of lubricant, it usually helps. You're just gonna take a pry bar, even a big screwdriver and just work 
uh, one of the ends of the hanger off. And let that off. The exhaust will come down a little bit and that should give us the space that we need. Now we're able to get our hardware inside of the frame rail. So we're over here on the passenger side and this is the attachment point that we're gonna use. And so what you'll do is take your fish wire, take a spacer block, put that over the, the fish wire there, and then take the shorter carriage bolt, thread that on, and you're gonna slide that up into the frame, as well as the spacer block, until it drops down. Over on the driver's side, we're gonna be using this hole as our attachment point. And same hardware combo, essentially the only difference, the carriage bolt is gonna be the longer one. So you use the long one over here on the driver's side. But spacer block, thread the bolt on to the fish wire, and work that up into the frame, and drop it back down. Now what you wanna do is take your hitch, and over on the driver's side portion of it, they give you another square spacer block. Use some packing tape and just tape that to the uh, slot there on the hitch, that way our hardware can pass through it. Obviously you'll cut the tape off on the top there where the bolt will go through, but uh, with the next set of hands now, we'll take this and get it into position. Drop your pull wire through the hole in the hitch and raise it right on up. Once you have it lined up, you can remove the pull wire. And then you're just gonna take a flange nut and get this started hand tight. That way the hitch will support itself while we work on the rest of the hardware. And we're gonna have an attachment point here in the center. So our tow hook lines up with these slots in the hitch. You can take the U-bolt, drop that through, and then the appropriate flange nuts and we'll get both of these started uh, hand tight as well. Now you can make sure that the hitch is centered and so you can kind of eyeball the center of the plate here where our U-bolt goes through with our tow hook. So I got it pretty close and we're going to snug these bolts down. I'm using a 916 socket. When you do the U-bolt make sure to tighten these up evenly. And for the nuts on the side, I'm using an 11 16 size socket. And at this point, we need to make sure and come back with a torque wrench and tighten down all the hardware to the amount specified in the instructions. To give us extra clearance from our muffler and the uh, bolt here, because it will be pretty close, but you don't want to uh, have to worry about the muffler contacting this and creating a rattle. You can bend the hangers down a little bit and pretty easy way I found, I got a 916 steep well socket and an extension. Just slide that over the end of it, pry down on it a little bit and that'll bend it down some and give us some extra space. With the hangers bent down though, now we can rehang the exhaust so you can spray the uh, rubber isolators down and then simply just raise it up back into place by hand. And once it's supporting itself, then we can remove our strap. Just to help kind of clean things up, uh, I took some black spray paint and painted our hardware. It just helps it blend in a little bit more. So it's always an option for you if that's something you'd like to do. But with uh, all that wrapped up, that'll finish up our look at and our installation of the Kurt Trailer Hitch Receiver on our 2017 Honda Fit.